to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. Big celebration last night. Milwaukee Bucks, why should we care? It ain't the Knicks. It's the team that beat the Nets. I'm going to tell you why we should care. Giannis. Giannis. Excuse me. Giannis. Attentacupo. Nigerian immigrant. Born in Greece. His parents immigrated to Greece. And uh, I think he has five. Is it five brothers, Rosenberg? I didn't know it was a five total. I know there's three in the NBA, two on the Bucks, and then one won a championship with the Lakers last year. And, uh, it, and uh, Giannis has, you know, really made it a point to build a team and build a movement. It wasn't about just signing who was popular or who was great. Mm-hmm. It wasn't about getting a bunch of superstars on a team. He won an NBA championship the old-fashioned way. He earned it and built it. And it's five. It is five uh, antidecumpos. But, I, but, yes, that's what stands out to me, too, man. They decided Giannis got drafted by Milwaukee, wanted to stay in Milwaukee. Chris Middleton developed into this star, you know, who, who now is a star. And they kept these pieces together. And, like, it feels very throwback to when we were kids. And you kind of learned who was on a team over time because they built and became great. Not because everyone showed up from a different great team to make a super team, and like many and like many uh, immigrants, um, and and shout to the Nigerians here in the tri-state area that you know we've seen when immigrants come and they're selling things on Canal Street and they're selling in Times Square, like, mm-hmm. and I know some kids that we know now in the music industry that that was their parents. Yeah, facts. Yes, Giannis's brothers spent. Hours as kids selling watches and CDs in the streets of Athens, Greece, so that they could feed the family. Oh, I thought Giannis did too. He wasn't actually out there selling too. No, say I said Giannis and his brothers. Oh, and his brothers. And Got his it. brothers. Yeah. Uh, in his rookie season, uh, this is the story I wanted to tell you, Laura Styles. It was a cold November twenty third Saturday. It was twenty below in the afternoon Ugh. in in Milwaukee. And a woman said she was shopping on Brady Street in the east side of Milwaukee, a few minutes away from the Bradley Center. She was with her boyfriend of 35 years. They saw a tall black guy running down the street. He looked familiar. They drove by him again four blocks away and realized it was Giannis. She stopped the car, rolled down the window, and asked if he wanted a ride. He said, are you going to the Bradley Center? She said, yes. He was only wearing a windbreaker. It was 20 below. Oh. He got in the car. She said, you need to get a winter jacket. He said, my credit card doesn't work, and I've given all my money to my family in Greece. This is his rookie season. He thanked us over and over again for the ride. Uh, He was running from where he lives, and he thought he was going to run all the way to the Bradley Center, but he had to stop at a Western Union to send all the money to his family. He jumped in her small Honda Fit. Have you seen a Honda Fit before? No, 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 no. Did I'm he fit? Assuming it's tiny. It's tiny. <laughs> Yo, your man Giannis is 6'10", bro. Right. My lord. So he folded himself up and got in the back seat. Must have been cold. 20 below, Shawnee. <laughs> Real cold. Yo, she dropped him off at the Bradley Center. He said, thanks, you really saved me. She said she was so excited she never got a photo, but she did get an autograph, and he autographed his name in Greek. Mm. This was his rookie season in the NBA, and now he's an NBA champion. Wow. He put he's up an am- 50 points last night. He's an amazing dude. And by the way, the, how quickly people wanted to hate on Giannis over and over again, even throughout this playoffs. Why would they want to hate on him? It's hard to explain in the NBA like why there are certain people who, until they win, people will be like, but are they really good enough? Do they really have it? What about his free throw shooting? And at every moment, you know, he just kept showing up over and over again. You know, a lot of people wanted to take credit away because they beat the Nets, who were not fully healthy. But guess what? The champion is the team that makes it there and is standing at the end. That's right. And I'm sorry, Nets fans. You can say, well, we should have if we adjust. They weren't healthy. They didn't make it there. The Bucs did. They made it past them. They made it past Atlanta after that, and an incredible Trey Young. They made it past a Giannis injury that looked like it would sideline him for the rest of the playoffs. 
Um, they, they had players that they also had lost to injury, maybe not the level of, uh, of Kyrie Irving. but they And then they had to get through Phoenix, who at the time looked unbeatable. They get down 2-0, get beaten up pretty bad in both games in Phoenix, and win four straight Great. to win the title. 65,000 people last night out in the streets of Milwaukee going crazy. Wow. No, it's something to celebrate. It's definitely something to celebrate. And, dope, I, and also, I, you know, I think the thing that, for me, that gets emotional for me is the, the amount of... Uh, the amount of, 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 I guess, overcoming that immigrant families have to do to survive, mm. right? Um, you know, I read an article about, you know, Giannis's brothers and his family. You know, they're Nigerian. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Giannis was saying that, listen, I was born in Greece. You know, I, I went to school in Greece. But when I go home, it's Nigerian culture. Mm -hmm. But he still played for... The team in Greece. He's the best basketball player in Greece. He people call him the Greek freak. He doesn't, you know. <laughs> he takes that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But he's still mm -hmm. Nigerian at heart. And just thinking about how, like, and we've talked about it on the show, how often immigrants to fit in change right. their names. Oh, absolutely. Right. absolutely. You know what I mean? Right. Don't speak their language and celebrate their culture just so they can fit in. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And so I'm sure that's hard, you know, like and I can't speak from experience, but I'm sure there's immigrants listening right now that you want to celebrate your culture more. Mm -hmm. Right. You want to speak your language more. But you don't because you don't also don't want to be ostracized and right. you don't want to be you don't want to be made fun of for, you know, holding on to your culture and people saying that's not who you are. Or they don't want to seem difficult because right. they have a, you know, a, a, a different name. Right. So it's like when people are trying to address them, like, why don't you just change your name to Cheryl or Kim or, you know, <laughs> but it's the truth. Yeah, right. it's facts. It's the truth. And, you know, his name, Giannis Attentacupo, it takes up, Attentacupo takes up all the space on the back of the jersey. <laughs> that sure does. <laughs> it takes up all the space. Uh, but yeah. nonetheless, he brings it home to his family. He still represents Nigeria. <laughs> Shout out to Africa. Nigerians know what it is. Um, and can't... the crazy thing is he was born in Greece. And the way that Greece uh, citizenship works, he didn't get his citizenship until basically he was moving to the United States. He got it when he was wow. like 18 years old. Mm. Wow. What they wanted to make him a citizen now that he was a star. Well, I don't know. I, 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 I can't speak to that. I think it's they have some weird naturalization project, process that takes a long ass time. But he grew up in Greece. I mean, he was his parents had moved there from Lagos a few years earlier, so he was born in Greece, yep. and yet still wasn't officially Greek until years later. So he was kind of like stuck with no home because it's where he was born. You mm. know, it's really interesting. And then he and then he turns around and moves here. So he's got his his, his family is Nigerian. Had you know his parents had moved to, from Nigeria twenty years ago. He lives only his life in Greece. And now he's in America. It's a really interesting life in general. And to think that he completely changed everything for his family. I mean, think about it. They were selling CDs. Just, I mean. Just to put food on the table. He completely changed everything for his entire family. I know you'd like this story, Laura Styles. Nah, I'm when, we, when, we, when we started talking about this, Laura was like, this is some sports thing. I was like, you're going to like this one. I was Laura. like, I'm rolling my eyes. And I'm like, oh, wait, okay, I'm in. Nah, it's a good story. But it's that's why. Beautiful. I, listen, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's a great immigrant story, and, you, and and it's good to talk about it. Like, I have a friend who sent me a, a DM because her her sister finally graduated college, and she took her cap and gown and went to the strawberry fields where her parents work mm. in the fields and took pictures with them because she was like, they made it happen. I'm not crying, y'all crying. <laughs> I'm not crying. So who's cutting onions right now? Who, who's cutting onions?